Good afternoon and welcome to the first edition of this year for Fin Week's Money Matters. I'm Demisha Greater. Do remember that this is the show that helps you manage your finances. In today's show, we'll be taking a look at a data dashboard system. Uh, this is meant to improve data capturing in South African schools. So we'll also be discussing the outlook for food and beverage firm Pioneer Foods and, of course, the impact of the RAND on the commodity stocks. And then later on, I'll be joined by a panel of experts to discuss the JSC's top five star performers that also give you global exposure. Well, before we get into all of that, do remember that we do welcome your comments. So send us your feedback to moneymatters at abn360.com. But first, let's take a look at the trend of the week. The collection of data in the schooling system enables tracking of performance of schools and the progress of staff members and learners. Important to note is that data collection systems can present such data efficiently so that it can be easily read and understood. The data-driven districts dashboard was first piloted in South African schools back in 2013 and has since been rolled up in four provinces. Well, in studio to tell us more about the role of dashboards is Giles Gillette, founder and MD of non-profit organization New Leaders Foundation. Giles, lovely to have you. I've said a mouthful, but I'm still not clear on exactly what this a dashboard is supposed to do. So tell us about it. So the, the data-driven dashboards um, project is a project we've been doing in partnership with the Department of Basic Education. So it's a, it's a partnership project and the, the aim of the project is to create a, an online dashboard mm. that pulls data from the existing South African school admin administration system. So it's taking data that currently exists in a system but that's quite difficult to visualize, access um, and to work with as a management tool and to put it into a dashboard that gives us simple um, online access to it and is easy to visualize. So we, we're looking at key metrics. So we're not looking at all the data that exists around um, education. We're looking at the key metrics that we think are critical to, um, to curriculum management, which okay. is the sort of focus of schools. So give us a practical example. What would you use this for once you have access to this dashboard of information? What is it for? So what it's for is to, is to help managers at schools help managers in circuits that are supposed to be supporting schools to give them standardized data around learner attendance, teacher attendance, the learner results, uh, promotions, etc., so that they can see where the gaps are and bring focused interventions um, around data that's th around decisions that are data driven mm -hmm. as opposed to being, you know, data that's that might not actually be where um, it might not be factual and difficult for them. Mm. It said it's been it's since been rolled out to different provinces, about four provinces. Um, how many learners have you been able to capture for this dashboard? So currently we're in four provinces and we've got um, close to two and a half million learners on the dashboard. Um, so real focused detail on each of those learners um, in approximately four and a half thousand schools. So that, that equates to about 20% of the the, the learners in the education system currently. So it's a big number. Yeah, it is. How is this different from the system that you mentioned earlier? We've got the South African administration dashboard or the system. How do the two differ? So it's a, this is just an extension of that. So they're not, it's not, a, it's not a, a different system. It's just an extension of it. So the school, all the data that we have on the dashboard comes from the South African schools admin management system. So we're working directly in partnership with the department to create a more efficient way for districts, for circuits, and for school principals mm. to see data and make focused interventions, which is what we need around changing the lives of learners and teachers. Mm. Are you able to share some of your experiences uh, in terms of you know, where you've seen students being able to benefit from this? You know, honestly, sometimes when you do share a story, you find that that's when it has the most impact, is people can relate and understand exactly how this has improved the lives of learners. Sure. So uh, an easy one is the um, there's a circuit manager in one of the, the st uh, provinces who used the dashboard to manage their atten the, the attendance of their teachers and their learners. Mm -hmm. And through looking at that data and the, the comparative trends over time, they were able to speak to the school principals, speak to the teachers and intervene so that we had like high, higher attendance of teachers, which then Im 
like naturally improves the, the tendons of the learners and uh, over time the learner outcomes. Are so it's simple things like that. Yes. Are there any hurdles in data capturing? Because this is obviously very data dependent. Yeah, yeah. What challenges or hurdles have you come across? So I think, I think the, the number one is for this, this project specifically, our, our key challenges are around connectivity. Mm -hmm. So for the, for, the, for the officials to use the dashboard, they need to be linked to the internet. So it's internet access, and in some of the remote areas, that's difficult. Um, the cost of the data as well. Um, and I think computer literacy as a whole um, is, a, is, a, is a challenge that we've, we've come up against. Mm. Any future plans in terms of rolling this out uh, even further countrywide? You mean we mentioned uh, where it currently is, but we, you know, what, where can we expect uh, to see this in the next year or so? So you know, I think that the, 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 what we're experiencing now is a real pull from the system. So we're in four provinces. Um, looks like we'll be working in Eastern Cape this year, okay. moving into KZN. Um, so there's a, the, the, f at the moment, it's, it's about how fast we can deliver in partnership with the department. So the, the rollout, I'm sure, is going to happen. Um, when exactly, um, it'll, it'll depend. Charles, thank you so much for coming in and giving us uh, you know, a bit more uh, knowledge on this. And you know, congratulations. And of course, we, we do wish you all the best. And hopefully, at the end of the year, we'll get an update from you once again. You, that you. was Giles Gillette, founder and MD of New Leaders Foundation. Next up, let's take a look at this week's Killer Trade.